All right, guys, so off camera, about like a few days ago, I went down to the fort and I got most of the electrical stuff wired up. But in this video, I'm gonna be finishing the electrical and we're gonna be adding a cabinet. So this is my idea for our cabinet. It's got a lock on it. Well, it doesn't have a lock on it, but it has the holes for a lock. You just screw it into the wall like that. You can have like all of our extra electrical components in it. And then opens up like that. We could obviously just take all this out. We'd cut all those out. And yeah, it's a pretty big cabinet. We could put a power inverter in there from the quad. And yeah, I think it would be pretty good for the fort. So now I'm trying to find a spot on here to put our power inverter. And now it sits pretty well in there. I'm not sure if we're gonna want this tray there or if we're just gonna wanna go here. What we'll take that out? Well, the only issue is these things are only like an inch deep. So kind of shallow. I mean it would fit pretty well in there. You just drill a hole right through there. Feed your wire through there. Plug your other wire in there. I mean there's many spots that you can put it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with it a bit. So I've decided we're actually gonna keep this in there because these trays are just a ton deeper and i think what's going to happen is we're going to cut a slit in there i'm going to drop that in there i'm going to have the other end go in there and that's going to go to all our outlets for the fort all right so i got that little groove put in there i'm going to see if this fits okay so as you can see it's a bit taller so we're going to need to go into this half which all right, so we got that hole. It's cut pretty deep. Let's see how this thing fits. Nice, it goes all the way to the bottom. So now we gotta get ready for our outlet over there. So I actually lied. I said we were gonna get ready for the outlet, but right now this thing still, if you put this tray in there and tried to close it, it's not gonna shut, cause that's in the way. So we have to fix that. So now I got the slit cut in both and it lines up. Let's gonna see, we're gonna see. We put in our, Power adapter, grab our lid, close it. Closes perfectly. Look at that. So now we're gonna work on getting the power adapter to stay there. Cause right now, it'll just fall out. So we have some poor man's double-sided tape, AKA duct tape roll. We're just gonna put it on it and we're gonna put it in. Now I see why people use double-sided tape. Cause with my poor man's double-sided tape, you may not be able to see it, but the bottom of it, instead of it being perfectly flat, it's got a bit of a cup shape to it. And with this, there's no, like, it's a millimeter of actual stuff. With the double side tape, it's foam, so it would actually stick to that. With this, it doesn't, because it only sticks on the sides, and the duct tape doesn't reach the sides. And even if it does, it wouldn't be strong enough. Would you look at that? You can't even see it. So basically what I did is I took this weather stripping, and I cut it there, 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 and there. I got four pieces. And then I just, there's no glue at all, or tape. All I did is I just, one, two, just wedge them in there. And then I did that for all of them. All right, so here I'm at the fort. I took our box and I just put some screws randomly at random spots. And now, I mean, if you close it up, that's mounted pretty sturdy. And we can put our little box up in there now i got a liner in there it looks pretty good so i got it all wired up and i was ready to test it and then this broke so i'm gonna have to splint that back together are you ready for the test hey we got lights we got power it's our number box we got a light we got power all right so all right so i'm gonna have to go soon but i just finished getting this buttoned up I got that in there. Oh, I gotta put those blocks back on. I routed that out through there, down through there, up to there. This is our power switch. Are you ready for the test? Put it on. Let's flip this. Hey, we got lights. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, I just gotta add the blocks and we're gonna have all this for storage too. And then for emergency storage, is gonna be back behind that. But that's gonna be a pain to take out, so that's only for emergencies. So I went up and made this little list of stuff for our fort. This is gonna be over like five videos though, so it's probably gonna be a playlist. But right now we got our cabinet made and we got our electrical situation done. I think now I'm gonna get our speaker down there and RGB lights. And I might stock the cabinets and get some fire starter. Now would you look at that? It's like that speaker belongs there. So now we're gonna power up the system and we're gonna test it. Flip that switch. 
for that switch. Push that button. Hey, we got lights. Let me turn that off. It's pretty good. We got Bluetooth, but sadly, I can't play music because I can't record while playing music. But I've had my AirPods in the whole time. While I'm building this, now I can just listen through the speaker. All right, so I got our RGB lights there, and those aren't like meant to look cool. It's just during the night. We're gonna run those all night, and then that won't use up too much electricity. Like right now, we're at 11.4, and that actually brings me to a next thing I want to address. How are we getting this electricity? So this thing goes to our power adapter. This is only 12 volts, as you can tell from that, 11.4. So follow this cable down there. It goes all the way out here and over to here. So we got a cigarette outlet right there. You just plug the hole for it into there. And now you might wonder, well, you don't want to drain the battery when you're sleeping. And no, I do not. So I have a solution for that. And that is, um, we have a jump box that might- All right, so I'm all loaded up. I got some splitting tools. Oh, this thing is fire, by the way. If you guys don't have one of these, that makes splitting a hundred times easier. And I got the jump box, so every time I move the four-wheeler, I don't have to unplug the fort and reset everything in it. All right, so I went back down to the fort. I got our jump box plugged into it. I'm gonna go take that, and I'm gonna go get some firewood. All right, we got a full load, so we're heading back to camp to split it. All right, we made it back, so now it's time for me to get to split in. All right, guys, so basically from this point all the way over to that point, behind that tree was not cleared earlier today. And now look at it. I mean, obviously there's some imperfections, like there's some thorns and stuff, but those are just gonna get matted down with a quad because the whole lower yard used to look like this, but then it all just got matted down. So yeah, it's getting dark out. It's about to rain. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. But also yesterday, you guys didn't see. I finished splitting all the wood and I got a decent amount stack there so yeah um we're doing pretty good here um all right guys so i am getting ready to film your new video and two things um there's supposed to be a light there that fell off and another thing i can't show you right now i was just driving this thing and the front diff is making a horrible grinding sound so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep driving it but no later i'll inspect it in the garage put it up on jack stands and i'll tell you guys what's up all right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. We got that whole section behind there, if you can see it, cleared out. And, I mean, I'm pretty proud with that. I mean, I only had, like, three hours today after I got home from school. That's all the brush. Right now, I'm standing in our fire pit. So, yeah, later this week, probably Friday, I'm going to burn all this. But if you enjoyed today's video, maybe consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. Um, but if you didn't, that's fine. And just have a great day. Thanks for watching.